Sammy, before we go any further, uh, and I know you will immediately say, no, we're not. No, we're not, so forget it. Are we a step closer now to seeing Premier League games going stateside? No. <laughs> I knew you would say that. FIFA and the US promoter, this company called Relevant Sports, mm -hmm. have overnight reached an agreement to bring to an end their legal battle over a, a ban on European leagues staging official club matches in the US. Yep. Now, in 2018, Relevant Sports tried to organise a La Liga fixture to be played in Miami, Florida, between Barcelona and Girona. Off the back of that, FIFA said, no, rules are rules. Games can't be played outside a league's home territory. Yep. Forget it, we all move on. But relevant sports didn't forget it, and they took FIFA to court. And now, overnight last night, they've reached an agreement, which brings to an end their legal battle. And now there's a stronger than strong suggestion that FIFA will now change the rules. So there you go. From hearing that it'll never happen, it looks like it could well happen. And the door has been opened. And indeed, um, uh, speaking on the Rich Eisen show, a show I've never seen, but a gentleman called Casey Vassiman. Yes. And who is he? He, of course, is with the sports agency. Uh, Intellectual over capital in behind the uh, Olympic Games. Absolutely. Mm. He said, you bet, English football is coming stateside. Just like the NFL has done an incredible job of taking their games overseas, real games overseas, mm -hmm. I think you're going to start to see European professional football games played in the United States. It is the biggest sport in the world, and this is the biggest sports market in the world. And I think that is a big upset. I mean, look at what Messi playing for MLS is doing for MLS. It's stunning. But if you had a Manchester United-Chelsea match in New York, and you had a Real Madrid-Barcelona match in Miami, and you had... Those level of games in American cities like that the NFL, count, though, they that count. count. They're real games. Right. That could be massive. And I think the other thing... Is that, that going to happen? I would be shocked if it didn't. Is you can hear them. You can hear the tone of their voice. Games that count. That count, though. Yeah. They're going to come here. Uh, now, I think FIFA have had a fright in this one, Simon, because uh, obviously uh, they, they said to Relevant back in 2018, uh, no, no. Uh, Barcelona and Girona will not be coming to Miami, Florida. But thanks for your interest. Goodbye. But Relevant didn't quit. And they threatened court action. Yeah. And now FIFA have buckled. Well, look, they haven't buckled. They've had a judgment that's been determined against them. And I'm not entirely sure that that was a La Liga game between Barcelona and Girona. And I have no issue with games being played in America. But the argument that's being waged is about Premier League games. If you want to take if you want to make a competition where European clubs can play in America, oh yeah, all day. That's I love that. Can no, I but they're not, but they're not. And you, and you know they're not. No. They're they, talking about a one off Premier League game being played in Miami or being well, New can, York or LA. But they can talk about what they want. The framework of the of the way that the current constituents parts have made football is that the domestic leagues and the home and away configuration which is the premise is the first okay when we're building a league what's the first thing how many teams in it how do they play they play home and away okay so competitive jeopardy comes part of it so they they, they seed that in the rules so the domestic leagues have been built upon and they're right to uphold those values i couldn't give a monkey's what the nfl's doing the NFL needs to be able to take its product around the world because this is a country that tells you that their sports are the World Series when they compete amongst themselves. And they believe that the landscape of sports is a destination. If you scaled up what the Premier League is getting from its broadcast deals against the populations of America, we dwarf their broadcast deals. So we get a bit tired about what the Americans do and don't think. You know, that's why the Americans are spending so much time buying into British sports not so much the other way, because they see opportunity there. I have no problem with a tournament and a, va and a game of significance being played in America between Manchester United and Liverpool, Manchester United yeah. and Chelsea. Big game, I do, real games that count, I, as yeah, the Americans and, say. And, and how you create that, but I do have a problem, and I'd see no necessity, zero benefit, and zero reason behind taking a Premier League game and dropping it into America. Wasserman will be part of it, because he's a sports agent. That's what he wants to do. No, That's how he makes his money. It's maybe of no benefit to you, but it's of massive benefit to the Americans. And and the, and well, that uh, so, that backdrop so, so, is the biggest of the lot. So let me get this right. The and we've got American the, owners the, here. The, the Premier League, the Premier League, which is not just made up of American owners. There is a, 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 a splattering of significant American owners in English football. Wes Eden's in in Aston Villa. Cronky in Ars, in Arsenal. 
uh, Bowley in Chelsea, and obviously the Glazers in, in, in Manchester United. And you look at those ownership models, and the next fear factor you should have if you're really worried about ownership models is doing wondering when they're going to start influencing relegation because they don't like any of that stuff, do they, in their, in their sports in America. But the NFL running around the world needing to develop itself is because it's a game that's isolated specifically in North America and they've run out of energy and they've run out of opportunity and they can't go any further with it. It's still very successful. And we had this debate with a fellow that came in the other day when I laughed about the, the uh, constituent parts of how successful the NFL broadcast deals are. But the, 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 the greatest growth that we've got in domestic broadcasting rights, or sorry, in, in football broadcasting rights, is overseas, of which America forms a part of it. So yes, of course you've got to tip a nod to these marketplaces, but we're already getting eyes on the prize. We're already getting huge audiences. It's the audiences. biggest marketplace of the lot, isn't it? Well, well no, it's not. It's one in of the, the biggest. Well, not You've necessarily. Lived there. Not necessarily. We heard from Casey Vassman well, there. So he what? knows his He's an American. I mean, the Americans love to bang their own drums. You know, the biggest one of the biggest sporting audiences is in India or in China and in other parts of the world that have got more eyes on the prize. You know, I, I don't see there's a need for the Premier League to to to. I'm going to use a word that I can't. No, I can't use that word. Um, I, to to change its product and play a game over in America to compromise the sporting integrity of the landscape of English football, which is working just fine. Now, if you want to create a different game, a tournament game, some form of derivative as a result of Premier League's playing in something meaningful, the FIFA World Club Championship can be played in New York City, by all means. Chelsea playing Manchester United in some qualification game for something that looks like it's valuable, absolutely. But I don't see, and I've never seen, the necessity, and no one's ever defined this 39th game. What the hell's the 39th game? But, There's 38 games in the league. What's but, the 39th game? But did you see the need for for six of our clubs here to say they want to join a European Super yes. League three years ago? Okay, well, that, there's an easy answer to that question. What gives you away for the God-given right to have a monopoly over over European football? Same what? argument. Same argument with FIFA here. Same argument with, with FIFA here. No, 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 no. Because they, that's they not, casually, that's, that's not, they very casually not, said to to relevant sports, go away. Barcelona and Hirona will not be played in Miami, because, Florida, and we're telling you why. Because it's our rules well, there now. Was, because there was no, there was a set of rules. That we own football. There's a set of rules. Relevant that sports. Said, no, you don't. There's went a to court. set of rules that football believes in this instance underpin the value of the structure of domestic leagues, home and away fixtures. They underpin the principal values of how football is held together domestically. Now, I understand the NFL has been able to build a formula. And there may be something to look at there, which is they can import their sides around into different parts of the world and they can still maintain their sporting integrity, or so they believe, right? This sporting integrity that has very little jeopardy attached to it because everybody gets distributed the same amount of money. Nobody gets relegated. The principles of American sports values mean bugger all to me. I don't look at the... Yeah, but that's not what we're talking about here. But we are. We're talking about a meaningful, no, no, no. or as they say, a real game that counts. With, so let's say with, for with, the talking no, sake, Chelsea owned by Bully against Arsenal no, you're owned not by talking, Kroenke you're, in New York. You're not talking about that. English you're Premier You're League. talking about fulfilling a need in America. Why is it the Premier League's job to fulfill a need in America? We've got broadcast deals. We've got the most successful league. We haven't even got our engine started on how much more successful it can become. Why do we need to deconstruct something purely, purely for the purpose of it? Because some self-serving opportunists in America see the opportunity to monetize an op uh, a scenario through it. The Premier League doesn't need to play but you a domestic game. A twenty two, the company that was behind the the different the, argument, the, the European Super different League, different argument to break the monopoly of UEFA. Different argument completely. Oh, is it? No, I campaigned for the right for there to be a choice right and that UEFA aren't ultimately the and only game to relevant sports are doing so what is the advancement to English football just out of curiosity what's the argument that advances English football and the integrity of the sporting pyramid and the values that ultimately underpin community assets in this country what is the value of shipping Manchester United and Liverpool to America for Manchester United and Liverpool fans that are the, are the well are presumably the you could answer your own question what was the value in the big six playing a little schmooze game with um, the European Super League three years ago. What was the value of that? Because ultimately, the, the, what, I tell you what the problem with it was, insofar, insofar there's value in the European Cup coming the Champions League. What was the value behind it? Never mind the problem, what no, was the no, value? I'll tell you what the, what the value was in, in terms of challenging the autonomy of the authority and looking at things in a different way. Because you're creating a different landscape. And you, that's exactly what they're no, doing they're here. No, they're not. They're taking it to America. That's exactly to, what they're you're, doing you're, here. You're, comp you're compromising the sporting integrity of the sport. I'm writing that down. Creating a different landscape. No, you're that's exactly what Chelsea 
against Newcastle in New no, York would be doing. You're you're unpicking the sporting integrity of the sport for what reason? When you when you when you when you the Champions League, which was originally the European Cup, changed the Champions League for monetization reasons, and I argued with the fact that UEFA shouldn't be the only game in town. Now you may have a point that FIFA. Um, shouldn't be lawmakers and have no challenge. Well, that's up to the individual federations. That's up to the FA. That's up to the to, to the to the German governing authorities, to the Spanish, to the Italians, to whatever to say to the FIFA. We don't like your rules, right? So we're not going to vote you back into office, Infantino, unless you allow us to have freedom of, of trade to play our domestic leagues wherever you want them to play. This is not about. It's not the same argument. A22, which I don't have any particularly wedded relationship with, wanted to be able to challenge you away for and say, and the only thing wrong with their argument was lack of meritocracy. You remove the meritocracy argument, you remove the fact that you get these clubs, you know, landing there because they were once great clubs and they close the door behind them and no one can ever join them. It was preposterous. I'm looking at some of the messages. James, the Arsenal fan, because of the number of US owners here in the Premier League, this is bound to happen. Why? There's Mark. How about playing the Community Shield over there in the USA? Well, Done. Well, Done deal. Well, but that's, that's a competitive game. So let's have but it right. Games so the, games so the, same, count, so the same fans that genuinely believe right, that they stopped the European Super League, that genuinely believe that they're the reasons why the independent regulator are is becoming in, uh, becoming um, legislated for, are now going to say that it's inevitable that you're going to take my team so I can't watch and ship it across to America for no real perceived for brand values. Crunch games that count. Say the Americans stick the Community Shield there. Quite happy to have that. Well, that's not a crunch game that counts in any shape Why or not? form, is it? It's a meaningful game, isn't it? It's it gets a 90, razor. Gets ninety thousand people. Make give, it us a, more, give us a Premier League make game it a that moment. counts. The, what you what you do is what I'm happy with is you create another tournament because the, the money the money's in tournaments. What do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think the UEFA have gone Champions League, Europa League, Conference League? What they're going to do next? Social Club League next. The bottom line is is that there's revenue in it. So I have no problem with a tournament that has meaning attached to it being played in America. None whatsoever. But why take a domestic okay. fixture? We'll see. Well, we'll see. Because the NFL have done it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, FIFA told relevant sports, go away. We're not interested. But they had to be interested because it's took them to court and now they're having to talk about it. Great line from James. Uh, can you imagine Klopp with a 12.30 kickoff in Vegas? Great one. I love it. It's coming up to 20 past 11 on this Tuesday morning. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.